Welcome back to Edius Editing for News. Today I'm going to look at sound mixing tips. Here's an example of a four track story that I cut for 7.30 report each night. There's multiple tracks of audio. The ones at the bottom are in stereo and the ones at the top are in mono as indicated on the side of my timeline. And when they play back in the mixer, you can see that there are multiple tracks on the source when I play back, but there's only stereo going out. The way that you set that up is you go to the track selector, so you right click on the tab up the top here for your timeline, right click and go to sequence settings. Or you could go up to your settings tab and come down here to sequence settings. Same result. There's the name of the sequence. And then there's this thing called channel map. Click on channel map and you'll get this channel layout. And you'll notice all of the tracks are written down the side here. And then the channel output is listed here. Now in order to make a mixed stereo output, you need to allocate stereo tracks to stereo and mono tracks to dual mono. And that's indicated by this little dashed line. But if I just click on one of these like this and make it mono, I can't make the other track mono, it turns into stereo. So how do I change this mono button into a little dashed line so that it goes across both channels? Well, we click this little icon in the corner here the change display button. Now you'll notice that the ones with the dashed line have two ticks for each track saying, hey, send your audio from here to here. So where I've only got one mono button on the other panel, I want it to be across both tracks. So I need to click here and here so that they go to left and right. If we go down a bit further, the stereo tracks look like this. So the stereo from the music track here, which actually has two tracks of audio on the one track, if that makes sense, a left and a right. That's why there are two waveforms on the one clip. It's sending its music to one side, channel one, and to the other side, channel two, for left and for right. If we go back to the channel map, now I have a dashed line again. So you may have something different. You may have a timeline that looks like this. If I right mouse click on here and open the sequence settings and open channel map, you may have something that looks like this. Mono, 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 mono. And you may have music on here and here. So you may have a left channel music and right channel music on two tracks. So you may have used two tracks for music and you want that to be stereo. Well, in this case, you would have the mono here and turn that one off the mono here and turn that one off. Now it will behave like stereo. It'll go one track of left track of music will go to channel one and right track of music will go to channel two. But up the top, you still want these to mix together. So you'll still have to click on this display change and go click, click, and the same for mono one and two, click, click. Now, if we go back again, you'll see they become a dashed line. So this is our mono audio, like grabs and interview. And this is our NatSot they'll be mixed into one and two. So that will produce a mixed stereo output. I hope that's of help. If you don't have stereo music on your timeline, then you would want these to be dashed as well. So you would go down to the bottom, click, 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 and go dash, dash. So this would be all mono output across channels one and two, and that's called a dual mono output. Unlike news, which is also mono, but it's called split mono output, where, sound, um, where grabs are on one track and sound effects or interview is on another track.